So what's going on guys, KDC here, welcome back to a brand new video. And today we are checking out the top 20 best maze runner slash labyrinth maps in Fortnite creative mode. In general I looked up more than 200 maps and these 20 were the best ones. In this list you'll be able to find huge maze runner maps with bunch of different mini games like solo adventure maps, then some escape room style mazes with missions and then even maps for huge free falls in a labyrinth and much more. If we were looking for best maze runner maps slash labyrinths to play by yourself or bring few friends, then this is the video that you've been looking for. So with all of this said, if you are ready to have some fun, then let's get right into it. Then the first map on the list is an amazing maze runner map set in the first maze runner movie. So here we have a huge map recreated from the movie itself, with having zombies all around the maze, with different chests to open, missions to find and complete and much more. This map is an escape room, so if you want to challenge yourself and see if you can escape the maze, then try this map out and have fun. Then moving over to my most favorite map, which is a jungle maze runner map. So here we have another huge maze slash labyrinth arena but with more space to work with. You will come across hidden traps in a tall grass, then some secret passageways that may lead you to out of this maze or maybe not. This map is simple and fun solo adventure map so try it out and have fun. Then but that said for the third map on the list we have a winter themed free for all map. So here is another maze, this time you can bring up to 16 players and all of them will be spawned across the maze. So you can just go around it, eliminate other players and be the last man standing. Try this map out and have fun. Then for the next one on the list we have a wonderful Maze Runner 2.0 puzzle map. So here we have a map where you have to do missions and complete quick challenges to unlock a part of another story of the maze itself so you could escape it. If you enjoy looking for clues and solving puzzles then this is the map for you so enjoy. Then for the fifth map we have an amazing find your way labyrinth designed by the FNO. So here we have a futuristic map with about 2-3 layers which you'll have to go through and each one escape. Like per usual you can play it by yourself or bring your friends and have fun. Then the next map on the list is a white room maze runner map. So the whole maze will be just in one big color which is white. All sections of the map will seem like small rooms so you'll have to go through each one, see which one leads you out of this map and much more. Try it out for yourself and enjoy. Then for the summit map we have an old school 4 player escape maze map. So your goal or objective is from all 4 directions of the map to try to find entrances to the middle and be the first one to do it to win. Of course you can just play it by yourself but if you want to have some fun then bring few of your friends, make a race to see who is the fastest and try this map out and good luck. Then the next one on the list is called the Medieval Village Survival Map. So the story is that one day suddenly you woke up by yourself and your whole house is trapped in this big maze. So you have to look for any sign of life, maybe answers on how you got there and try to escape it. Later you will find that the only life that is there will be zombies. So you will have to play smart, look for loot and try to survive. If this map sounds interesting to you then here it is so have fun. Thank you. 
Then the night map on the list is called the Glitch Labyrinth map. So almost all the previous Maze Runner maps had big and tall walls, but this one doesn't, which means that you'll have an extra advantage, so you have to find out how to escape it, but remember to use the short walls to your best advantage. So try it out and good luck! And with that said, now we have come to the next one on the list called the 5 Dimension Maze Runner map. So, in total you will face 5 different levels or worlds. Each world will be in a different theme and you will start with easy levels, but going further the difficulty will of course increase. So, if you want to challenge yourself and see if you can complete it, then here it is. So, enjoy! Then moving over to the 11th map on the list which is a map called the Retro Runners. So here we have a maze labyrinth in the purple retro theme. The rules of this minigame is simple. You can bring up to 8 players and all of you split to 2 teams. First team is the runners who have to collect coins which are scattered across the maze and the other team which is gunners have to stop the runners from doing so. If runner team can reach to 10,000 coins before the time runs out they lose. So try this map out and have fun. Then the next map on the list is an amazing Resident Evil 3 solo player's adventure map. So here we have a super dark themed with over 20 different levels. In each level there will be simple quests that you will have to do, find a hidden chest, eliminate enough zombies and stuff like that. If you want to play Resident Evil 3 in a dark labyrinth theme then this is the map for you, so enjoy! Then for the next map we have a cool Hunger Games styled maze map. So you can bring up to 16 players and at the start of this round all players split to teams. Each team will have its own corner and then the objective is to be the last man standing. But special locations like all gold gun chests in the middle and stuff like that will spawn every few minutes. So decide what you want to do, try this map out and let me know if you liked it. Then for the 14th map on the list I give to you a first ever seen Attack on Titan Maze Runner map. So all players spawn in the middle of sky with random hero loadouts. You can land anywhere in the maze you want and start fighting. The last man standing will win, but special abilities like extra speed or health will spawn across the arena. So try this map out and have fun! Then moving over to the next map on the list which is the mystery box labyrinth map. So here is a super automatic map which is split to 6 sections and each section every 5 minutes will change. So you will have to escape from one level to another before the timer runs out or you will have to start over. This is super new and advanced maze runner map so try it out and enjoy! And with that said, now we have come to the Maze Runner map called the Impossible Escape Room. So this map concept is super simple. You have a huge maze with the same staircase so you have to reach the top and escape the map through one of the portals. But the catch is that there are over 30 different portals and 30 different ways to get to the top. So you have to figure out which portal will lead you to escape or you'll have to give up and call it impossible. So let me know in the comments if any of you could complete this map and good luck!
Then the 17th map on the list is called Infected Maze Runner 2.0 map. So here we have a super simple maze map from the first maze runner map on the list. This time it's a different maze with this weird purple foggy effect. So you have to escape this map or you will get eaten by hidden traps and monsters lurking in the dark. So try this map out by yourself and have fun. And with that said, now we have come to one of the last maps on the list which is the Last Kingdom Survival Maze. So you can bring up to 6 players, all of your task is that only one of you can win and escape this map. So who one of you will it be? Will you split the teams, go solo, try to betray your friends and much more. Bring your friends, enjoy this map and good luck. Then the 19th map on the list is the biggest maze runner map in Fortnite creative mode. This maze in general is made from 89,000 blocks and took over 100 hours to make it. You can play this map by yourself or bring as many friends as you can and see if you can escape this maze. So try it out and have fun! And with all of this said, now we have come to the last map on the list called the old school first ever created Maze Runner Arena. So here we have a super simple Maze Runner map where each time you die you get spawned in a different place. So you can't figure out the path and you have to question each step you take. This is a super fun map which I made a video about 2 years ago. So if you want to revisit this map then here it is, so enjoy! And with having all this said, I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or suggestions for the next top 20 list, feel free to comment that in the comment section down below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and enable that notification bell, so you won't miss any more amazing top 20 lists or anything else. With that said, have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, peace. Yo, I